everyone, this is weather forecaster Liam here with another video of TRA weather. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about and forecasting very cold, in fact, record cold temperatures for much of the United States. We'll see exactly where and how cold the temperatures will get. And here's something you don't hear very often, a possible early May snowstorm. Yeah, with these cold temperatures on the way, going to have some moisture to work with, so the Northeast could definitely see some flakes flying this weekend. We'll see exact time and how much snow can be expected, and when the next chance for severe weather will be. All of this and more is coming up right here on TRA Weather. Alright, today is May 5th, 2020. Let's start off with a look at the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. You can see much of the United States is forecasted to be below average, especially across the Midwest, Ohio Valley, and Northeastern United States region. Now, the only area that is forecasted to be above average, and even the chances are very high, only around a 40 to 60 percent chance of that happening, is across the Western United States right around the New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, Utah area with the highest chance for seeing above average temperatures for this time of the season. But again, much United States is again forecasted to be well below average. You can just see how below average these temperatures could get. This is for 8 a.m. Eastern time Saturday morning. This is from the GFS model. These are the TRI weather temperature anomalies. This shows you how above or below average the temperatures are for this time of the season. You can see much of the central and eastern half of the United States well below average. Lots of areas shaded in blue, pink, and purple. You can even see portions of the southeast and mid-Atlantic 25 to 30 degrees below average for this time of the season. The only areas you're seeing that are above average is the very western United States, mainly around California, Oregon, Nevada, and Arizona, with temperatures right around 15 to 25 degrees above average. Now let's go over to our TRA weather temperature forecast. This is going to be for the weekend, going to start off with Friday's high temperature. You see really across the entire United States going to be really nice for this time of the season mainly in the 60s some 50s when you start going on into the north though the only areas that are going to be uncomfortably hot is going to be again the southwestern united states right around the california oregon nevada and arizona region in the mid to upper 90s even a few hundreds across that region now over to friday night's low temperature things actually do get a little chilly across much of the united states even when you start getting into the mid-atlantic ohio valley north central northeastern united states it actually starts getting to around freezing can even see a few 20 showing up on this map but much of the united states again just kind of chilly unless you start getting into the more northern states now forward to Saturday's high temperature, right around the same as Friday's high temperature, maybe a little cooler in some spots, again, unless you live in the western or southwestern United States where you're going to be dealing with very hot temperatures in the upper 90s and low 100s. Now forward to Saturday night's low temperature, things get even colder across portions of the United States. And this is actually right around the time when I show you those temperature anomalies, how above and below average the temperatures were just about a minute or two ago. You can see portions of the eastern United States, especially in the southeast, where some temperatures are actually freezing once you start getting into the lower Appalachian chain where across Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia, right around that freezing mark, and this is early May, really should not be seeing that whatsoever. Now forward to Sunday's high temperature, things do warm up slightly, though not a real big change from either Saturday or Friday. That is also the same for Sunday night's low temperature. Again, a little warmer, but not much of a change. This is going to be mainly what we're going to be seeing for the next six to 10 days, maybe even longer than that. So I hope none of you are in a rush for winter to end because it looks like it's going to hang on just a little while longer. 
So now let's go on over to our future radar forecast from the GFS model. This is for the eastern half of the United States. We're going to start off at 8 a.m. Eastern Time Wednesday morning. You see some light rain showers across the Ohio Valley, mid-Atlantic, in northeastern United States. Maybe even some snow showers mixed in as well across Pennsylvania and New York State. But other than that, it's going to be a very quiet day weather-wise for your Wednesday. We do start seeing some more rain show up across the northeastern United States later on the day into the nighttime hours in the northeastern United States. Some of that rain could be moderate at times. So other than that, it's going to be very quiet weather-wise for your Wednesday. Now we're in the Thursday morning, still very light rain across the northeastern United States. If any, that low pressure system should be well off the coast not really causing much of an issue. Though we could have some thunderstorms that develop late Thursday night going into Friday morning across much of the central and south central United States, maybe even some portions of the Midwest. See, this is for 2 a.m. Eastern Time Friday, very early in the morning, very late Thursday night. Some thunderstorms across Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma. They'll eventually get into portions of Texas and Arkansas. Now, those thunderstorms could produce strong winds, large hail, and a few tornadoes can't be ruled out. So I'm going to monitor that forecast, update you over the next day or so on that possible severe weather event across that region. Now, later on the morning, Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern Time, still have some thunderstorms across Arkansas. Arkansas in Texas, though more moderate rain the further east you go into the Ohio Valley, not looking at really any severe weather. Though later on Friday, this is for 2 p.m. Eastern Time, we actually start seeing some blue showing up on this map across Ohio, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania, and that is some snowflakes mixing in with that rain. And that's going to continue for much of the day Friday, still snowing across West Virginia, Virginia, very western Maryland, in southern Pennsylvania. Now forward to Saturday morning. And now the latest run of the GFS model actually keeps that low pressure system a little further off the coast than the previous run did. So Massachusetts, Connecticut, Vermont, New Hampshire, New York State, Maine. You were in a lot of heavy snow before, and this latest run actually does not have you in that heavy snow. Now, there's a lot of previous runs that did have you in snow. This is actually the first run that has not had you in some pretty heavy snow. So we'll see if that will be a trend over the next day or so for you guys in the northeastern United States. Now forward to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, we're focused on the northeastern United States now. You can see a lot more snow showing up on this map. That's because of some wraparound moisture, but as quick as that snow pops up, as quick as it makes its way on out. Now, by Saturday night, just dealing with some light flurries in mountain snow. And by Sunday morning, most of the moisture, if not all of it, has worked its way on out. And again, this is the first model run of the GFS that has kept the bulk of the snow off the coast. So we'll see if that trend continues over the next day or so. So now let's go on over to our TRA weather snowfall. This is for Friday through Sunday. This is from the GFS model. You see there's actually a decent amount of snow across the northeastern United States, even into the mid-Atlantic and Ohio Valley. You can see portions of Ohio, West Virginia, northern Virginia, even eastern Kentucky, seeing between 6 and 9 inches, maybe even more than that in the higher elevations. Though further on to the northeast, especially interior northeast, looking at really only 3 to 5 inches, not really as much as the previous GFS model run had you at. Now over to the European model, you can see a way different story. The GFS model and the European model are not in agreement whatsoever. Keeps most of the snow well into the northeast. Really has no snow for Ohio, West Virginia, or Virginia, or much of Pennsylvania either. Most of the snow is now into New York State, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and much of it, in fact, almost all of it, is in the state of Maine with 12 to 15 inches of snow according to the European model for portions of Maine. So the models are not in a good agreement. Definitely keep an eye on this forecast over the next 24 hours or so. Okay, now over to the storm hazards on this possible early May winter storm. So rain, snowfall rate, and wind are all going to be at risk levels 3 out of 5. Now snowfall isn't a risk level 2 out of 5, but depending on what the models start to forecast and trend towards, that could go either up or down. Now flooding, power outages, cold temperatures, and low visibility are all at risk levels 1 out of 5. And in fact, ice, which is sleet and freezing rain, is at a risk level 0 out of 5, so I'm not really expecting any of that whatsoever. The hazardous area is the northeastern United States, 
and the expected time is Friday through Sunday. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and share this with family and friends or whoever you would think that would enjoy watching TRA Weather. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also check out the links listed below to both my Twitter and Instagram pages and an invite link to my Weather Discord channel. Thank you. See you next time.